In this how to we are going to learn how to validate an email address entered into the text box. This is also very very frequently used. Many times you have to ask a user's email ID so that you can send them a notification or you can send them their newsletter or any kind of communication to their email ID. And many times you uh, end user try to enter their fake email addresses or maybe by mistakes they can uh, enter a wrong format of the email address. So in order to make sure that the email address in being entered by the user is of the correct format you can try this approach. So let me copy paste this code. Let me format the selections and you can see that on this page I have a text box called txt email and then I have a required field validator that makes sure that user is entering their email id in this text box and then we have used the regular expression validator control <coughs> and this validation control basically helps us to check the text or the string for, for a specific pattern and that pattern you can specify as a regular expression into the validation expression property of this regular expression validation control and here you can see that I have a specified validation expression equal to this pattern and this pattern makes sure that your text that you are going to enter is into this format there must be one at the rate and then dot and then some characters and rest all other properties are almost similar that we have seen in other uh, validation controls like control to validate and the error message now when I will click on the button we are basically executing submit data method so let me show you that here Oops. here is my submit data method and here I am going to write response dot write txt email dot text so that whatever text will be entered by the user we will simply print out on the page now let me run this page <coughs> and here you can see that I have a text box and I'm going to enter some text here that is not into uh, a valid format and when I'm clicking it is saying me that easy abc at the rate domain dot com that's what the error message we have, we have written now let me try some other format I'm saying just ram at ram so there is no dot com right so this should also not get validated but if I will say ram at ram dot com then naturally this is the correct format of the email id so it will validate and you can see that the server side method is firing and it is printing the email id that is being entered on in the text box on the page so using a regular expression validator control you can check a string for a, a specific pattern and it can be used either to check for the email id or for any other kind of format for example you can check for a, a specific format uh, to be entered as a phone number or you can check for the SSN number format you can check for the PAN card number or these similar kind of things in order to know the about the regular expression I would suggest you to go to, to .netfunda.com and search for the regular expression articles in the next uh, how to we are going to learn how to compare two text boxes for equality like password and confirm password many times you must have seen that when you are going to register to any uh, website they ask for the password and they then they will again ask for the confirmation of the password so that by mistake if you have entered wrong into the uh, into the first password text box you, you will be able to validate yourself that no uh, perhaps the password is not correct so in order to, uh, to now get a confirmation and making sure that the password entered into the both password text box is equal you can use this approach so here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create one sample form you can as you can see here and in this sample form let me just uh, tell you what is in this sample form we have a password text box called txt password and then we have a confirm password text box called txt password c and 
for first text box i am going to enter uh, i am going to uh, write uh, required field validator so that the first password text box will be mandatory and for the second password text box what i have done is that i have written one compare validator and that compare validator has a control to validate property naturally and that i have specified as the first text password and control to compare i have specified as the second password text box so what it will do is that it will basically check for the first text box password and the second text box password and perform the operation based on the value we have specified in the operator's property so let me show you what are the operator properties operator have data type check or equal or greater than less than or those things here because we want to check for the equality of the value in both text boxes that's why i have it op operator is equal to equal and then we have to also specify the type means which type of data we are going to check so i'm saying that this will be naturally string type because i am asking for the password from the user now let me run this page when i run this page you will see that <coughs> i have password and confirm password and i am going to write here <coughs> a b c and here i am going to write d e f now when i'm clicking on submit button we'll see that because both password is not matching so it is uh, it is uh, giving me error saying that both password must match if i will write if i remove the text from the first text box then you can see that it is saying me it is mandatory and as soon as i am writing something into the first text box and not writing anything to the confirm password text box it is saying that both password must match so let me write the correct password so i am writing a b c and in the confirm password also i am writing a b c and then you will see that it is successfully validating both uh, the password val uh, text box values and it is allowing me to submit the data so using the compare validator with operator equal and type string you will be able to validate whether the value entered into the both text boxes are same or not